One day towards the end of last year, I received an unfortunate email reading that my favorite email client, Newton, will be discontinued. Cloud Magic, the company behind Newton's app, was vague in their letter, but they were saying that they can no longer develop and support the app given the market, the demand and the pricing strategy. They stated that the market for premium consumer mail apps is not big enough and they say they explored various business models but couldn't successfully figure out profitability and growth over the long term. Hey guys, this is Z, and to tell you the truth, I've never felt so sad about an app being discontinued before. My life and my business spin around the email clan, and Newton back then called Cloud Magic was a breath of fresh air to me. I've always loved minimalistic apps that do few key things, but they do them well. Newton was one of those apps. The intuitive and free of clutter interface, the read receipts, and the single account sign on help me eliminate distractions and focus on what matters most despite what device I'm on. Whenever I was switching phones for reviews, I never had to worry about setting my emails, rules or signatures all over. Whenever I was composing a new email, I felt inspired because of the clean and free of noise composer. So you can imagine how I felt when I had to look for an alternative. For the past four months, I've been switching back and forth and I tried at least 10 email clients. At any given point, I have at least 10 email boxes. So making those app switches was incredibly annoying and I had cases when I missed important communications and deadlines, not to talk about the reluctance I felt every time I was sitting in front of the computer or pulled my phone to see something ugly. But always great with the world again and Newton is back. And it's backed, actually acquired, by Andy Rubin's Essential Products Company. So here are Newton's perks that I so desperately missed the last few months. Newton runs on all platforms, Mac, iOS, Windows and Android. It supports pretty much all email standards and protocols. Some of Newton's features are read receipts, the option to track which of your recipients read your email and when, tidy inbox, a feature which clears the unwanted emails. By the way, I felt that when I switched to other clients because I was bombarded again with spam newsletters and other BS that I had forgotten in years I've been using Newton. The app integrates with Todoist, Evernote, OneNote, Trello and Asana and it has the popular snooze option which I never use. It also includes send later option. There's a feature to see additional sender information when you click on the sender's icon and by far one of my favorite capabilities is send later. It is very useful when creating recurring emails like monthly invoices, for example. Oh, and I've missed the simple logical delete interaction. When you select an email and you delete it, you don't go to the next unread email in your thread that you have to additionally mark as unread. You simply don't go anywhere after the delete action because that's the way it's supposed to be. There's a very clear status notification bar that pops up on the bottom right when you do interactions like delete or send and provides you the option to undo your actions. Also, drag an attachment on desktop directly to the app icon triggers a new email with the attachment already in it. See, it's the small stuff that work great. All this aside, the most significant advantage of Newton is the interface. I might be repeating myself, but I try to live a distraction-free life, and whenever I have the chance to declutter or eliminate noise via a tool, I'm on board, and I'm ready to pay for it. Talking about pricing, Newton's subscription model is $49.99 a year, no strings attached. You can do a 14-day trial, so head over to newtonhq.com and try it. This is not a sponsored video. If there's one perk on my wish list for the app, that is dark mode. In fact, a while ago, I did a Newton dark mode concept just to tease them on Twitter. Look how good it might look. As I said, I love clean apps and I've thought of doing more videos about great minimal apps that I find useful. If that makes sense, let me know in the comment section below and I'll start publishing more minimal app videos. I might even put together a separate playlist for this. Let me know. This is E, over and out. This is E. Either way, let me know. This is E, over and out. Strategy, 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 strategia. Blah, 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 blah.